Douglas. More scrubbing, disinfecting and wiping down high touch areas. These pit crews will comprise uh, up to four cleaners and they will swarm trains and vehicles using a hospital grade disinfectant. All part of TransLink's promise to fight the spread of COVID-19 on public transit as the province reopens and more people head back to work. As long as you feel safe, you feel safe, right? So it was Cassandra Wong's first time back on the SkyTrain in three months. It was pretty spaced out. I mean, I, again, first experience, right? So I'll, it's going to be interesting to see how like everyone's going to do it on rush hour. Rush hour will be the big challenge. Physical distancing on a crowded train, not exactly easy. But TransLink says it will try to control the number of people rushing to the platforms by slowing down access through fare gates. Typically, only one fare gate will be set to entrance only. The other fare gates will be exit only. Uh, so that will uh, limit the amount of people who will be able to tap through. And to create more space, TransLink is gradually restoring services on SkyTrains, buses and the C bus. And come June 1st, you'll have to start paying to ride the bus again. By that point, all buses should be fitted with plexiglass barriers. Some already have it. I'm sure it will help. Passengers are also asked to do their part to not get on transit if they're sick and to travel during non-peak hours. And they're also asked to wear a mask when getting on the bus or SkyTrain. I think what we need to, to realize is that not everybody can safely wear a mask. So we need to be um, respectful of that as well. But it is a way for us to, to keep our droplets in, to be respectful of others. Um, and transit is a place where you cannot always maintain that distance. Some passengers are already masking up, but the real test will come when buses and trains are full and the crowds unavoidable. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.